And what I'm noticing as we're, you know, ending 2025 and moving into 2026 is that the number of failed AI projects out there typically run on cloud-based platforms is out of control. And I think this should be a bigger scandal than it is. I think people just kind of glossed up, okay, yeah, 95% are failing, we get it. And yet the investment is still being made in many of these dysfunctional processes and some, some of the under talent folks that are delivering this stuff. So I'm doing, seeing a couple things right now. now. In other words, I'm seeing reports like the MIT report that's showing me a very dismal record in terms of ROI from some of these AI projects. The other thing I'm seeing is firsthand, I'm actually auditing you know, many of these projects. In other words, I'm under NDA working with large Global 2000 companies that are trying to figure out why their AI projects are not bearing fruit. And I'm finding many of the same patterns. So the good news is this is fixable. <laughs> the bad news is we got to be willing to understand that we have a problem before we're able to move forward with the fixes. So let's break it down. The vast majority of enterprise AI projects fail because they prioritize technology solutions over solving genuine business problems. And this is really kind of the core reason why people are failing. The interest is in, as it's been in cloud computing and service-oriented architecture and edge computing, you know, in every, you know, major trend that has occurred over the last 30 years that I've seen in my career, the focus is never on the business problem. The focus is always on the technology. It's on generative AI, it's on agentic AI, and how people are going to leverage this technology specifically uh, for their use case. So they talk about the technology first, and then talk about the business problem after that. And they, they really, uh, you know, do some dysfunctional stuff, and they attempt to fit the business problem, you know, into the technology pattern, which is not the way you do it. You need to understand the business problem first and then back the appropriate technology into it, as always. But that doesn't seem to be a lessons, lesson that's being learned out there, certainly by the enterprises, but more surprisingly so by the large consulting firms out there. 